New developments now, new evidence of trouble for a Johnson County school district. The 41 Action News investigators learned an FBI agent and a Department of Education official visited Gardner Edgerton's district headquarters. According to the sign in sheet, they met for more than three hours yesterday with the interim superintendent. Meanwhile, the lawyer representing fired Superintendent Bill Gilhouse and two administrators says the school board violated their contracts. He says the board did not give any notice or reason for the firings. When you're in education, if somebody is suddenly fired, marched off the property, locks are changed, the presumption is you did something morally wrong or you've stolen money. And that just is so far from the truth that it's ridiculous. The interim yes. superintendent says the firings were in the best interest of the district.